Once upon a time, I thought there was something really wrong with my wardrobe because I always felt like other people dressed better than me. I would often try on a few outfits in the morning and still be disappointed with my final look. I would ask myself, what's wrong with my wardrobe? The thing that I found out was that the problem wasn't actually that there was something really wrong with my wardrobe, but the problem was more about the way that I was actually approaching style and the habits that I had adopted around clothing. My bet is that there is nothing really wrong with your wardrobe either, but there might be a few habits that you can get into that will help you to dress better than you do now. I wanna talk about a few of these habits today that I really think have had a huge impact on the way that I dress and the relationship that I have with my wardrobe. We're gonna talk about a few different style habits today, but one of those things that we are gonna talk about is color because I do think that this is a subject that not many people talk about and it's quite important. Okay. So so let's get started. So in a recent video, I spoke about my own style evolution. And I spoke about a lot of different things that impacted my style over the years. One of the things that I forgot to talk about in that video was how my style changed when I decided to stop doing YouTube hauls and become more conscious about what I was buying. Slowing down gave me perspective with what I already owned in my wardrobe and actually led me on the journey to being way more self-aware about my own personal style preferences. Before doing this, I would literally just walk in to Zara or H&M and buy anything that I liked without really thinking about how it would go with other things in my wardrobe. If you've ever looked at anyone before and thought, gosh, they have amazing style or they always have nice outfits on, they seem to have a signature look. If you've thought anything along these lines, it is most likely that that person has actually spent time curating a thoughtful wardrobe. And it all starts with slowing down. If you're at the beginning of your style journey and the thought of curating your wardrobe sounds daunting, trust me, it's not. It's actually really simple once you get started. I will link my very helpful blog post right at the top of the description below that is a great guide for curating your wardrobe and I also have a closet curation series coming out soon. Keep your eye out for that. So the best way that you can slow down and to begin to start curating your wardrobe is by actually starting with what you already have. The next thing you need to do is to start a wardrobe wish list. If you have followed me for a while and you haven't started one yet, start one. This is your sign. Anytime you get an urge to buy something new, pull out your wardrobe wish list and put that item on the wish list instead of buying it. You want to wait for at least a week, maybe longer if you can, before purchasing that item. And in that time, you want to really think about that item and whether it's going to add to your personal style, whether it's going to fit with other items in your wardrobe, and whether it really fits your lifestyle or not as well. By having a wish list, it's going to stop those impulse purchases. It's going to stop you from bringing in a lot of things into your wardrobe that will continue to create confusion. And this is definitely the first step to curating your wardrobe. So when I was feeling most unsettled about my style, I felt that I was comparing myself to a lot of other people, comparing myself to their style and the clothes that they owned. This is obviously a really dangerous place to spend time. There's no real benefit in comparing ourselves to other people. It can really kill our self-esteem and it also puts our mindset in a place of scarcity, which can then lead us to buying things that we don't necessarily need or that we will never actually wear. So I became really aware of when I was comparing my style to other people's style online and in person. I wanted to be able to admire people's style without feeling jealous about all the beautiful things that they had and that I did it. So I decided to rewire my thought process. I had to stop comparing myself to others and start comparing myself to the previous version of myself, the person that I was yesterday. That's why I titled this video, Dress Better Than You Do Now, rather than Dress Better Than The Person Standing Next To You. You are on your own style journey you are in your own race. So when you stop comparing yourself to others, you can focus on your own style journey and just work on getting better than you were yesterday. Another thing I spoke about in my style evolution video is that I accidentally stumbled across my ideal color palette. With years of trialing different things, I slowly began to realize what colors I really like to wear and my wardrobe just ended up having a really clear color palette. There are steps that you guys can take to create your own color palette rather than just all the years of trial and error like I did. And I talk about that in the blog post that I mentioned earlier, which is linked in the description. But you may be thinking, well, do I actually need a color palette to improve my style? Will a color palette restrict my style. So what I want to do is help you answer all of that now and I'm also going to show you my current color palette as an example. 
So firstly, the pros of developing your own color palette are really simple. Getting dressed becomes way easier. Shopping becomes way easier. Versatility in your wardrobe is actually quite high because everything can be easily mixed and matched together. And best of all, you will likely gain a lot of clarity around your wardrobe and your personal style in general if you do create yourself a color palette. Also, further down the track, any declutters that you do are way more easier as well. Way easier, more easier. I don't know. So if you're feeling a little confused with your current style, a color palette could be a really good way to gain clarity. But does a color palette restrict you? Well, yes and no. It really depends what rules you set for yourself. So personally, I have a color palette, which is up on the screen now, and this color palette represents majority of my wardrobe. However, I do have a few things in my wardrobe that sit outside this color palette. And the reason I allow myself to keep these items is because they're things that I love and that I wear. And what is the point of getting rid of something just because it's not fitting in within my color palette if I wear it and love it. So the two things that fit outside my color palette are this purple cardigan and this blue dress. This is green. <laughs> purple cardigan and this green dress. I'm not going to get rid of them because I do really love them, but I can recognize that these two pieces are harder to style with multiple things in my wardrobe just because they do sit outside that color palette. But that's okay and I'm okay with that. And that's what I want for you guys as well. If you are developing your own color palette, it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to have everything that matches in that color palette. It's just a really nice way of having a guideline and helping you to curate your wardrobe and your style. If you don't follow a color palette, it could be the reason why putting outfits together is challenging for you. So just give that a go and question it for yourself. Like I said, I have a blog post about personal style and there's a section about color palettes, so I'll link that below. Otherwise, this is a really great book by Anushka Rees and she has a whole chapter on color as well. To get yourself started with thinking about color in your wardrobe, open up your wardrobe and see what your favorite colors are to wear already. Are there any patterns? Are there any themes? Are there any things that you love and know that you look good in and that you wear often, these could be your starting colors. Then you can build your color palette around these. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Starting my YouTube channel had a huge impact on the way that I dress. Every single video that I've created has pushed me to be creative and think about styling different outfits. You guys don't see the mess that is created after I shoot my style videos. Honestly, my bedroom is turned upside down. Sometimes if I'm putting together one outfit, it can take me three or four tries to get that outfit the way I want it. And all of this getting dressed is practice. How many times were we told as a child that practice makes perfect? Although perfect isn't really a great word to use, but you understand the fact that if you practice anything, you will get better at that skill. And styling outfits is just another skill to learn and something that we can always be improving on. So if you wanna improve faster, then practice. One of you guys actually suggested that it's a nice way to just like put your phone away, stop scrolling, get off YouTube, quit binging these videos and actually get into your wardrobe and do the work. You could just dedicate an hour on the weekend to do it for fun. We can plan and we can consume all we want, but at the end of the day, taking action is what actually moves the needle forward. Speaking of getting into your wardrobe and actually doing the work, decluttering is a big part of the personal style journey, but it can be done right and it can be done wrong. My main tip for decluttering is ensuring that you do it mindfully and that you actually learn from the items that you get rid of. But there can be a lot of uncertainty in decluttering, like knowing whether or not to keep an item and getting worried that you might regret it one day, holding on to things just in case. So if that sounds like you, you will love the video that I made about hanging on to clothes that you never wear. In this video, I share useful ideas for the maybe pile and the undecided items items, which also includes a mind map which I created, which I have stuck up in my wardrobe and is so helpful. So thank you for watching and I'll see you over there. Ta-da! Bye!